Right here you can see the bait I've been using over the past few days. I'd say there's, including all the decimated parts, just the, the rotted parts, there's probably, oh, I don't know, conservative estimate, maybe several thousand flies here. This is a mixture of using solid baits, the quick strike stuff. And then that uh, Max Force spot bait that I got just recently. Uh, this went from an area that would breed, you know, flies that would go everywhere. And now there's like maybe seven or eight living flies. Most of them are showing signs of nervous system degradation. You see these, this is the bait. It gets sprayed on. It forms like a, almost smells like crayons, almost a waxy matrix. And here you can see a flies. This fly and that fly are going at it. Here, let's, let's take a look. You see the proboscis is down. The red fly is, is definitely eating the bait. Just watch here. And I'll show these random twitches, or these sort of, I guess they're not random, they're almost pattern twitches. When it intakes enough of the toxin, that its nervous system goes out of control. <clears throat> so we can get a good look at the process here. It's already too far gone to know to fly away with me being this close. Yeah, look at that. See, the nervous system's not completely out of control. Its wings and legs are paralyzed or and our I didn't catch it, but the other guy just fell off too. And here in my garage, I mean this is one of the best testaments to how effective this stuff is. And you see all these dead flies on the floor, right? And they're handful, handful. But then when we come up here, I mean this is several days worth and this is again these are the ones that just died in the stuff you know these aren't the ones that ate some went oh shit flew away and then careened off dead somewhere else you know those are scattered all over my garage this stuff but i can actually hear one buzzing around on the floor somewhere right now uh, you know its wings are all out of control sometimes those things will buzz for two or three minutes as they die I'm gonna show you, see I've got the, one of the pheromone traps on my front porch. And you know, normally I wouldn't want to put something stinky like that close to the front door. Here's my front door. But uh, it was better than, you know, having the door moving when you got home, just with all the flies crawling and swarming on it. You open the door and 20 or 30 flies go in your house every time. It's just unbelievable. So this wound up being a preferential thing. Now to save some life on the trap, to keep the trap from getting full, I've put some of the quick strike bait on there. And what happens is the track, or the trap attracts them, <clears throat> and then they eat some of the bait. And instead of going in the trap, they wind up losing control of their nervous system, and they just kind of flop around dead somewhere on the ground. Or so, you know, oftentimes you know that the the bait looks kind of ineffective. If you just go by the flies that are dead right underneath it, but if you watch closely, a lot of the flies actually fly away. You know, they 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 realize something is wrong, and then they fly away. And uh, here's here's one that's dying. Okay, I see it there, just twitching out of control. But they they fly away from the bait, so you don't always get to see all the dead ones. But if you sit there and watch it for a while, you get a feel for. Uh, you know, for how many are really being killed, and, and I think it's a it's a satisfying number. It's better if you spread it all out on the ground like this. I was a little leery of doing that, but uh, as far as I can tell, neither dogs nor a wild animals like this stuff. Um, you know, I read about people mixing it with things they really shouldn't be to try to kill wild animals and stuff, but uh, it just doesn't seem like a, an appropriate way to use something that's clearly so toxic. Um, it is toxic too life forms with nervous systems in general. Um, it is not limited to flies. The reason why it's specific to flies is because of the bait that's in it. And another one just died in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, and uh, just so that you guys get an opportunity to see it here, this is the, the Max Force Fly Spot Bait. You mix up uh, 16 ounces of this dry powder with one gallon of water. It is expensive, but it covers, uh, they say, a thousand square feet. I didn't test that to see if it was true, but it definitely covered, uh, one gallon covers a lot more than I needed it to cover. I was able to just spot treat every door in my home, uh, the outside of every door in my home. Just your standard sprayer that you might use for pesticides or anything else. I 
don't really know what else. I only use mine for pesticides. And here's a quick peek at the Quick Strike fly bait. Um, Star Bar makes it. I, you have to spread it over a pretty large surface area, or you can pour actually a little bit of bush beer is what I've been using, which frankly, uh, you know, we bought it once when a friend was over. I don't ever drink American beers, um, but they sure do work well to attract flies if you mix them with this. Just a uh, I estimate like, if you're gonna use like a, a saucer plate and you're gonna sprinkle this on it, put maybe half an ounce to an ounce of beer, just not much, just enough to wet it, kind of get the process started. Cause dead flies attract flies like almost nothing else. So all you need is something to get the first few in there. And then when they die, um, I guess they release some sort of pheromone that attracts other flies. So anyway, there it is.